Kids, Assalamualaikum. How are you? I hope all of you are doing good. So in this lesson, we are going to learn the new topic. Unit 7, Magnets. Okay, our learning objective for today are number 1. Give examples of the usage of magnets in daily life. Okay, awak boleh berikan uh, contoh kegunaan magnet dalam kehidupan seharian. And then, number two. Identify the shapes of magnets. We are going to look at a uh, few shapes, different shapes of magnets. Okay, kita akan tengok beberapa bentuk dan kenal beberapa bentuk magnets. So, let's start. Okay, kids, I'll refer your textbook page 61, Unit 7, Magnets. Have you ever tried this game? Okay, look at this. Uh, three friends, they are playing a game. They want to catch the fish. Okay, I almost caught a fish. Wow, I caught one again. Open your mouth. Mungkin ada yang uh, dalam kalangan kamu yang ada permainan ni di rumah. So now let's you let's look at the uses of magnets. Let us learn about magnets. A magnet is useful in our daily life. Mom, how does this refrigerator door close tightly? The refrigerator door has a magnet, dear. Okay, pintu peti sejuk ni mempunyai magnet yang membolehkan peti sejuk ditutup dengan rapat. Okay, you can check out the refrigerator at your home. And then page 62. How can the teacher's name tag be secured without using a pin? Okay, I show you the example. Okay, this is my name tag. Okay, this is my name tag. And it doesn't have the pin. Dia tak ada pin. Okay, name tag ni tak ada pin. Okay, this is the back side of the name tag. And how can I wear this without a pin? Because it has a magnet. Okay. This is magnet at the back side of the name tag. Okay, I show you once again. Okay, this is name tag. And then, okay. Uh, contoh dia cikgu pakai macam ni lah. Okay, ni name tag. Letakkan bahagian yang, uh, satu bahagian bermagnet dekat dalam. Okay, and then put this magnet outside. Uh, jadi bila pakai, dia tak, takkan terjatuh. Okay. Okay, and then page 63. How does your pencil case close tightly? Look, there is a magnet in the pencil case. Okay, so if you have this kind of pencil case, you can check whether it has a it has a magnet or not. Okay, kotak pensil yang bentuknya macam ni. Ah, dia ada magnet di hujung dia. Untuk membolehkan kotak pensel ditutup dengan rapat. And then another example of the usage of magnet in our daily life. Oh, the screw drop again. Use a magnetic screw driver. Its magnet can hold the screw. Okay, the magnetic screw driver. What are other examples of the use of magnets around you? 
Boleh awak berikan contoh lain kegunaan magnet yang awak pernah tengok dalam uh, kehidupan seharian? Okay, look at this uh, teacher's info. Magnets are also used on handbags, chess boards, darts and notice board button. So, this is notice board button. And then, a chess board. Okay, this is magnetic chess board. And also, handbag. Okay, ada magnet di hujung ini. Uh, selain dari itu, uh, ada juga beberapa contoh lain. Okay, contohnya tali pengikat langsir itu. Ada juga yang menggunakan magnet. Okay, maybe you can look around you. What are the objects or what are the examples of the usage of magnet? Okay, now let's look at the shapes of magnets. Magnets come in various shapes, okay? A few shapes, a few different shapes. What are the shapes of magnets? Let's look at the magnets below. Okay, you can refer your textbook, page 64. Okay, there are few shapes of magnet here. So, let's look one by one. Okay, number one, bar magnets. Bar magnets, B-A-R, bar magnets. Okay, this is the shape of the bar magnets. Okay, I will show you. Okay, this is bar magnets. Okay, the shape is, uh, I can say that this is a rectangle. Okay, jadi ini nama dia bar magnets. Okay, maybe it come with uh, this color, blue and red. And maybe black color or any other colors, okay. Mungkin dia datang dengan warna yang macam ni, biru merah, mungkin juga hitam. Dan mungkin ada warna-warna lain. Okay, kalau bentuk yang macam ni, we call this bar magnet. And it has two poles. Okay, the north poles and also the south poles. Okay, dia ada huruf kat bawah ni. S, south poles and then and north poles. Okay, we will learn uh, about the poles in our next lesson. Okay, number two, cylinder magnets. Okay, this shape is a different from the bar magnets. Okay, if you look at the shape, this is a cylinder shape. Okay, bentuk di hujung dia ialah circle. Uh, dia macam bulat sikit dan panjang. So, this is a cylinder magnet. Number three, horseshoe magnets. Horseshoe magnets. So this is horseshoe magnets. Bentuk dia macam huruf U, tapi bukan. Okay, dia lebih rapat lagi. Sebab nanti we uh, kita akan tengok U shape magnets. Okay, so this is horseshoe magnet. Bentuk dia lebih rapat, U dia lebih ke dalam. Uh, dia tak sama macam magnet U. Okay. Dia punya bentuk dia, U tu lebih ke dalam. Okay, this is U-shape magnet. Okay, I have U-shape magnet. Ah, uh, Bentuk dia memang macam huruf U. Okay, U-shape magnet. Okay, kalau tadi, horseshoe tadi. Horseshoe dia lebih rapat tau. Dia punya poles ni lebih rapat. Ha, tapi yang ni U-shape. Memang betul-betul huruf U. U-shape magnets. And then button magnets. This is button magnet. The shape is circle. So, where can you find this button magnet? Ah, uh, You look at the fridge magnet. Uh, pergi tengok 
magnet yang ada dekat peti sejuk selalunya di belakang Uh, di belakangnya ialah button magnets. Uh, magnet yang bulat-bulat ni nama dia button magnets. Okay. Magnet bulatan. Okay and then the last one. A ring magnets. Magnet chain chain. The shape is like a ring. Okay this is ring magnet. Okay. Ada lubang kat tengah. Uh, boleh pakai macam cincin. Okay this is a ring magnet. Okay, so all of these uh, shapes of magnet, they come in a few different colors. Okay. Ada beberapa warna. Jadi, uh, awak mesti kenal bentuk-bentuk magnet yang telah disebutkan tadi. Okay, these are all the shapes of magnet that you must remember. Okay, the first one just now, the bar magnets, rectangle in shape. And then cylinder magnets, and this is horseshoe magnets, U-shaped magnets, button magnets, and the last one, a ring magnet. Okay, the hot question here: Why are magnets form in various shapes? Magnets are formed into different shapes to suit various uses in our daily life. Okay, let's look at the teacher's info here. Magnets are named based on their shapes. Okay, magnet dinamakan mengikut bentuknya. And then the poles of horseshoe magnets are closer compared to U-shaped magnets. Uh, I told you just now. Uh, horseshoe magnet ni dia lebih rapat dia punya poles dia berbanding U-shaped magnet. Okay, so today you learn about the uh, uses of magnet in our daily life. Okay, the objects that use magnet and also the shapes of magnet. So this is your homework, science activity book, page 41 and 42. Now let's look at page 41. Unit 7, Magnets, Magnetic Devices. Tick the devices that use magnet. Okay, first of all, I'll write the date here. Okay, look here, there are uh, six pictures. Okay, you need to tick the objects that use magnets. Awak kena tandakan betul pada objek yang ada magnet. Okay, let's look at the first picture. This is pencil case. Okay, kotak pensel. Adakah kotak pensel menggunakan magnet? So, if yes, then you tick yes. Okay. And then this is a puncher, penembuk lubang. This is a sharpener. This is name tag. This is a notice board button. This is a magnetic chess board. So, try to do. easy right so let's check your answer name tag use magnet and then the notice board button and also the chess board okay harap semuanya dapat jawapan yang betul okay now page 42 shapes of magnets okay bentuk magnet Fill in the names of the magnets based on the pictures. Awak perlu namakan bentuk-bentuk magnet ni. So, the answers already here actually. Okay, bar magnets, U-shaped magnets, cylinder magnets, button magnets, horseshoe magnets and also ring magnet. So, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Okay, you can pause the video and play back when you want to check the answer. So, number one, this is horseshoe magnet. Number two, this is button magnet. Number three, this is cylinder magnet. Number four, this is U-shaped magnet. This is a ring magnet 
And the last one, this is bar magnet. Okay, you can refer your textbook also to get the correct answer. Okay, so we already learned about the uses of magnet and also the shapes of magnet. Okay, there are a few shapes. This six shape that you let. Okay, you can buy the magnet if you want to. Uh, biasanya ada juga dijual di kedai-kedai uh, alat tulis eh. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next lesson. Assalamualaikum.